Hi guys, welcome to Simproved Fry Speaking here, and today we are going to do another room makeover for this Improved Me series. And it is this lovely room created by Iron Siegel called Frontier Living. He has a YouTube channel as well, and I will put everything you need to know about him in the video description. So go there, check his channel out, and he even did a let's build about this room because it was the first build ever he has done. And yeah, he sent it to me, and it turned out actually pretty really great it was hard to do anything about it so let's talk about what I did here it is much more of a log cabin living room and first I put everything that was in the room into the inventory so we can reuse it afterwards which is something you would do in real life too if you do like a makeover of your room you try to use as much as you already have and yeah this is what I'm going to do here too so since this is like more of a log cabin living room I didn't dig the modern wood paneling he had there and I chose the log cabin wallpaper that we got from the outdoor retreat pack which I thought looks really really cool gives automatically like this really cozy vibe and then I put a fireplace in there because what is the log cabin living room without a fireplace I mean they all have fireplaces right they make you warm they look super romantic and they make the room exceptionally very cozy immediately so there has to be a fireplace there of course so behind the fireplace to make it like the centerpiece of this room, I used these cobblestone wallpaper and to accent it even more I used the columns like these auto retreat columns on each side to make it really pop and to make it look a little bit more realistic. So there is like a nice transition between the log cabin wallpaper and the cobblestone wallpaper. And Iron Siegel had a TV in the room. So we are going to do with a more modern lived-in look of a wood cabin thing. So this is not like a real native looking old school medieval. I mean, it's not the medieval times, but you know, back then it's the modern version of it. So there's a TV above the fireplace. I used the wall mounted TV here. He had a standing one. And I reused the sofas he had, but I did a recolor of them in this light blue because I thought the blue is a nice contrast to the warmer colors of the wood that we're going to use in here. And there's also a little chess table and two chairs which he used and I tried to implement them as good as possible. To make it look a little bit more interesting, I put them in a diagonal in the corner, which I think looks a little bit more dynamic. Maybe it doesn't make sense so much, but yeah, I think it looks better that way. And I reused some of his shelves that he used and made like a nice collage wall on the other side of the fireplace. Also with a couple stones to make them pop out a little bit more. And yeah, we are going to clutter it up afterwards. So I really used the couches and some of these stuffs. I also love the couch table he had, which is this huge suitcase chest piece, I would say. And I really love that one, but I put two together so it looks like a bigger couch table because I personally really love bigger couch tables. I love to cramp them up and you know there's always lots of stuff on my couch table so yeah <laughs> this is why there has to be a big couch table of course. I was streaming this on my YouTube channel as a live stream and some of the people in the chat had wrote me that these lock heavens have usually deer heads and these hunting trophies and so on on the walls and of course they're right but we don't have that in the sims game but we have in the debug mode of course the fish trophies so I used the mounted fish trophies which we have a couple of them in the game and I absolutely adore the lionfish head this really huge lionfish head it is amazing I love it I just love 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 it and this is why the room is called tribal lionfish living so yeah I hope you like it I just love the lionfish he's so ugly but still adorable and looks so majestic you know I just love the lionfish the lionfish is like my spirit animal now for the channel yeah please be aware that this lionfish is going to be used a lot of times in future builds because I just adore it so much. After everything was placed and after you know all the I would say main pieces like the couch fireplace TV and so on that the sims really can sit on or use and so on I always decorated a lot like really heavily. You know that I'm the clutter lady the crazy clutter lady on YouTube and I always have to decorate it very heavily to make it look more detailed and more lived in and very cozy and so on and really used by the sims that live there. Yeah, I think it just looks better like this. It gives like a very nice individual touch and vibe, which I absolutely love. 
and uh, I had so much fun doing this. So yeah, I did this in the live stream. I want to thank everybody who went there. I'm going to live stream on maybe every weekend if I can. So I will always try to announce it on my YouTube channel. You can always see it there. So yeah, I hope to see you there in the future. And if you are going to miss some of the live streams, this is absolutely no problem because I'm doing like a video of it, absolutely uncut video. So you can really see the whole live stream with all the problems and all my, you know, weird talking in this weird accent English. And yeah, so you get the full experience, I would say. And it's also like, a let's build then because I know that some people have like problems watching these speed builds. And if they're more into the let's builds, then you can definitely check out maybe the live stream and see what I did there so I will link to the live stream which is of course on my channel already here now on the top right check it out check it out check it out and yeah so the next live stream is going to be the echo complex one where I try to showcase every single apartment that you did for the super collaboration for the echo complex so yeah I really hope you will come by and we have some fun and hang out together and it's always nice to hear your ideas and so on in the chat and then we can build something together and you know discuss all the things that there is about YouTube and the Sims of course. So I tried to put like a really cool rug in there but first had some problems because they all looked a little bit dull and then I found the movie hangout stuff rug and it has this amazing Native American tribal plate pattern on it really colorful but I still just loved it it went so well and it made it so look so so cozy and Iron Seagull even had like this really colorful poof from the movie hangout stuff which didn't really fit in there it was like a very colorful accent and I think like this the poofs look even better there so yeah this is what I did there put the rock in there use the poof which I just love you know you guys I love the movie hangout stuff it's so super colorful and makes it look so funky I know but I just like it gives like a really nice individual vibe so this is when I went for the more colorful accents there then we used a little bit more of this darker red and some blue and yeah it makes it look a little bit more interesting I would say otherwise there would only be like the wooden pattern and the wooden colors there which I think is a little bit boring but yeah so this is basically everything I did so I always try to you know do the walls first then I put the main things in there, like for example the couch TV and so on, stuff that the Sims really use and have to reach. And then afterwards I always decorate it very heavily and think about the color theme and so on. After everything is done, I always change the lamps and the lighting, because first I always use these modern lamps just to get like a really good view about which colors I'm going to use. It's never nice to just, you know, build in a very dark room. I use the very modern ones and then I change them to this chandeliers which come in a very nice black swatch I think it's called so I really love that ones and they look amazing and I thought that they make, make it look very cozy and then I will also use from this set the scones or scones are they called I guess that's the new word that I learned in the live stream so these wall mounted candelabras and also a candelabra on the table behind the couch of course all in black and yeah this is how I did the lighting and I always like to do some of these wall mounted lights place them behind shelves or the TV for example so they are really hidden but they make the room really bright so you can't actually see that there are lights but the room is a little bit brighter and you can see everything which I like because in the Sims we have some issues with the lighting so I always have to hit some of the lights so you can see all the stuff that I'm doing there. Yeah this is basically everything here that I did it's very cluttered I know very funky very girlish very colorful but it is fun it looks really really like fun and I would love to spend me a vacation there in this log cabin so yeah if you have a log cabin you know just invite me maybe I can come over and we hang out by the fireplace mm. so yeah that's it if you want to use that in your game then of course do so I have put the download link in the video description so you can just click there click on download and then you have it in your game and can use it in your game and also I will put Iron Seagull's links into the video description so go out and check him out it's amazing and thank you so so much for sending in this room up next are some screenshots you know before and after pictures and so you can see how it really really changed during the whole revamping and that's it. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.